to our channel. Welcome, my name's Alison, and today I am going to do something a little different, not making a dessert, I'm actually gonna make a savory muffin. And the reason why I'm making a savory muffin is because on the weekend, I generally do a fasting without, without not on purpose, I just generally don't eat as what I normally eat during the week. I would normally have a, a bulletproof coffee and that would carry me until later in the afternoon. But there are some times when I just I feel like something a bit more substantial and today I that's what I'm gonna do so I'm going to attempt first time trying again at making savory muffins so my ingredients that I have today are coconut milk baking powder half a cup of grated cheese xan xanthan gum I've got organic salted butter Mixed herbs, dry mixed herbs, two eggs, sweetener, garlic powder, a lot of ingredients today. Coconut flour, almond flour, salt and pepper. I think I mentioned pepper, I'm not sure. And some jalapenos, really chopped up and nice. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take six tablespoons of melted, or six tablespoons of butter and melt that. So while the butter is melting, we're gonna add in all our ingredients. One cup of almond flour. Then three tablespoons of coconut flour. Three. Then you wanna add in a teaspoon of sweetener. In that goes. Next is three quarter teaspoon of salt. So we've got pink Himalayan salt. We like using we like using pink Himalayan salt. A little bit more than maybe three and a quarter. Next we're gonna put a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. I love garlic powder. It's I just love it, it's amazing. Two teaspoons of baking powder. Quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum. Don't forget your eggs. Now I'm gonna put a bit of pepper in this. We bought this awesome pepper shaker. Um, can't remember which store, one of the Home Depot stores it is. Freaking amazing. The amount of pepper that comes out of it is ridiculous. So just a sprinkle of pepper. Don't forget melted butter as well. Just, you know, sprinkle in some mixed herbs, dry herbs. Yeah, that looks about good. All right, let's not forget the jalapenos. Love jalapenos here at AJ Living. We love chili. We love everything spicy. We can't help it. So that's 22 grams of jalapenos and a third of a cup of coconut milk. Oh the cheese. Let's not forget the cheese. Actually you know what we're gonna mix this all first and then we're gonna put the cheese in because cheese try it's very hard to try and mix cheese with a whisker. the other camera falling okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in my cheese and just fold that through I'm feeling a bit more herbs, just a little, just like Jason, just a dash. That's my signature dash, by the way. <laughs> Copyrighted. Okay, so I'm gonna put this aside while I actually grease the little muffin trays. Okay, 
So I just realized that, or I just remembered that we actually have avocado oil spray. So I'm actually going to spray the rest of them. Seems really oily. Okay. Okay, so the oil in the avocado spray actually came out quite a lot. So I just did a quick squirt in all of the little um, cupcake areas. And I'm just going over each one, spreading the oil around. I'm feeling like I want to put a bit of Parmesan cheese on top. with a little dash, like a very small sprinkle of this curd again. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put it in the oven and I'm going to cook it for 22 minutes. Mmm, smells good. Wow, it smells amazing. And we'll see what they turn out once they finish cooking. Okay, so 20 minutes has passed and I've also actually just let the muffins cool down. They actually look really amazing. And I've also poked it with a skewer just to make sure that it is cooked on the inside as well. So I'm just gonna take out one, cut it in half and I'll call Jason over to do a taste test. Put some butter on. Okay, so if Jason would like to come over and do a taste test. Back again. Mmm, wow. I feel taste. Mmm. Mmm. These are really nice. Oh, there's a little kick. Just a smidge of the jalapenos. But it's actually really soft and fluffy at the same time. It is. It's actually not as dense as no. I thought it was going to be. Because I made um, chocolate chip muffins, uh, chocolate chop protein muffins. They were very dense. These are not as dense as these ones. The garlic, I can taste the garlic powder. Mm. So the garlic powder is a bit strong. I think it's, is that this extra saltiness? Maybe. It's, it's a bit extra too salty. Because I did put a touch more garlic powder in. Might be that. Yeah. You can really taste it. So I can because I put a touch more garlic powder in because I love garlic powder. I can really taste it in the in these muffins. Um, however, if you like garlic powder, do whatever you feel like. If you don't like garlic powder, maybe try something else. Onion powder might actually be quite interesting. Mm. So maybe try a bit of onion powder. It's very very good. Oh, very mm. good. Good work. This is gonna be really cool. Mm. I really like it. I like the saltiness to it. It's um, it's also but remember you got the cheese in there, so there's a cup of cheese in the whole thing. I put extra parmesan, and parmesan is quite a sharp cheese too, so that can also add to all the salt. I did put, I did put three quarter teaspoon of salt in so you might want to adjust it we didn't do a taste test of the mixture because we figured you know it's a savory one it's going to be okay but maybe if you want to do a taste test of the mixture first i know it sounds strange for a savory dish um however that would be my recommendation if i'd made these again in a different style i'll probably taste test the the mixture before anything else however i'm really pleased with these so these will be, I'm thinking I'm going to be making more savory muffins with different fillings, different ways. And I just, I love making muffins. So these will definitely be like a go-to snack, breakfast, lunch, something along those lines. And the best thing about these is that the macro, so the net carbs is only 3.5 net carbs. So that's an awesome thing as well. 
So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy what I do, please leave a comment down in, this, um, in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of any other future videos that we post up as well. And I will catch you in the next one. See you later.